He is uh, an exceptional manager, uh, very uh, easygoing, but works with his team. He uses his team to its full ability to help him, to um, help him make decisions and things that he certainly couldn't take a diesel engine and tear it apart and put it back together because that's not Mike's background. But he certainly could manage that uh, program and, and work with his people to do that and work with his managers to do such a thing. So Mike is, with no question with our company, he's a manager, but a manager that's got a good overall uh, knowledge of what it means to be uh, a technician and what it means to work in that area. Mike takes care of his technicians very well as far as understanding again their work-life balance. I mean it is a 24-7 operation so we need to obviously some people have to work those night shifts and everything else and Mike does a lot of work to make sure he balances that out with his people with schedules and uh, also as far as making sure that we're paying appropriately, staying market conscious of uh, what the skill sets pay and Mike's been uh, very very strong with making sure that we're a market leader with that. He treats us like a member of his own family, uh, honest, fair, and a uh, hard worker. I think the, the, the biggest thing that Mike has brought uh, to Armour in his short tenure here is his organizational skill and his ability to bring the team together and work as a unit. And uh, as VP of Operations, obviously, I need to rely on Mike and his team greatly with regards to whether it's new assets coming in, the customer demands are extremely high. So it's very important that uh, the equipment when it's assigned to go out on a run tonight that it's going to make the run tonight. Well, I think you have to be you have to be honest you have to be a hard worker uh, you know go get your education uh, you know uh, everybody that we hire 99% uh, uh, you know they have to go take a course in, in college in truck and transport uh, or, or management or depending on the position that they're applying for so uh, you know get your education uh, work hard uh, sometimes you have to get in, in, in uh, you know, your foot in the front door. A lot of people uh, uh, that have won this award started off as a mechanic. Uh, I didn't, and, and uh, it wasn't my field of, of uh, study. But uh, you know, I, I got into uh, to sales, doing sales in this industry, and then just uh, climbed the ladder. And uh, very happy to be here. You know, my dad won it uh, 19 years ago in 1997 with armor. And uh, for me to be a finalist for this award almost 20 years later, uh, it, would be, uh, it would be really something to win it. You know, uh, not just for you know, my dad and I, but also for the company. It, it would say a lot for Armour to have two winners in, in 20 years. You know, I think it would be the first time that a father and son uh, ever won the award. I'm not sure if it's the first time that the same company won the award, but uh, it would be uh, very special. Uh, Mike is uh, well deserving of this award, hard working, he's a fair, uh, straight shooter, he likes a nice clean fleet at a competitive cost and on uh, behalf of the whole group I uh, would just like to say a, a great congratulations. Mike, sincere congratulations on you being honored with such a prestigious award, it is much deserved. I think that well, you yourself have taken the initiative to be good at what you do. I think you've used the skills of a lot of your people. You've listened and uh, acted accordingly, uh, and it's uh, it's just uh, you, you're just right on top of your game right now. And uh, thanks, Mike, uh, for being such a, a good listener, being such a, a good uh, manager, uh, also being a, a what we would have to call a mentor to a lot of uh, our people. And uh, certainly, uh, you uh, earned this award. And uh, I know that uh, you uh, accept it with, uh, with certainly a lot of pride, and you should. Thank you, Mike.